Oh, we are doing this again. Hey everyone, welcome back. I know it's been a while since I've done a crochet video and you've all been like spamming me. So I'm gonna give the people what they want and as you can see by the title, that is another crochet video. So when summer 2021 was like fast approaching, we were all looking to Emma to see what we would be wearing this summer. And like most of you, I presume, I watched the video and then I saw this one tank top sweater vest type thing that she wore and I was like, I need this. I need to have this. So that is what we're gonna make today. I just wanna say before I get into this video, this tank top is made by a small business. I will put them up here. At the time of me filming this video, they aren't selling any patterns or any of the tanks. So I don't want to steal anyone's designs as the last thing I want to do. We support small businesses here, like my mum runs a small business. So I know kind of the time and effort that goes into making these designs. So if you saw my crocheting the famous Pinterest dress video, you will know that I just kind of wing things i look at it i almost make a pattern in my head so after spending like hours analyzing this piece of clothing this is the pattern that i devised my yarn arrived yesterday it's 100 percent cotton and it recommends using a five millimeter hook my tension is trash so i'll be using a 4.5 millimeter hook instead this little pink one these are the colors i think they match pretty well i believe this is a mint and this one's just off white using my pattern here the x's are the white bits and then everything else is green and then i also need to make a border around the collar but i believe it's made from just single crochet um i thought it was moss stitch but it, uh, i don't know i couldn't like tell but i am gonna go with a single crochet because it's like easier anyway let's do this thing i just watched back that time that's they're so funny to me because it's just like i don't know why i put them in i just find them funny um anyway i finished this is the chain i cannot get my hair to behave oh my gosh what is, like what is this what is this this is where we're gonna start our first row single crochet yeah it's i keep accidentally doing doubles i need to remember it's only single crochet as you can see it's we're making progress it's coming along beautifully it's so hot today i kind of want to go crochet in the garden but i'm afraid i will literally burn to a crisp i was thinking to myself the other day i'm literally gonna have so much time on my hands this summer it's a good job that this is like quite a time consuming yet relaxing task because i know i'm gonna be lonely as hell this summer just dissociate into your crochet and forget about how depressing your life really is that's why i do it I don't know about you guys. People can't isolate you if you isolate yourself first, guys. Life hacks. Oh my god, this last stitch! And we are done with our first row. Oh my goodness. It was it was a journey, but we are done. And I've got two more of these before I start changing colour. I will catch up with you once I've finished the next two rows. Hi, so... Oh. You see my birthday balloons are still messy then. They're annoying me when they're on the ground, so I just let them do their own thing. Here it is. Here's like the bottom bit of my pattern done. So it is time to change colour. Okay, so I'm doing this behind the camera, so I might mess it up a tiny bit, but it should be fine. Your end of your row, and you're about to start your new row. So you're going to want to loop this in. Pretend that's not a stitch, like just tuck it, like pull it right in and it looks like you've kind of changed colour. Then keeping this green thread tight, you're going to just want to chain one like so. This is just the like a tail, you don't need this. And bring the green round so it's lying flat on top of the stitches like you can see. So it's lying flat here. Then you're basically just going to want to work into it how you would normally single crochet loop this round and do your single crochet you're essentially just going to be hiding the green yarn along like this so it just makes it easier to switch out colors when you need to i'll do some more stitches so you can see so just looping round making sure that the green is on top I do hope that was kind of useful because I'm really, really, really shit at explaining things. I hope that worked or made sense for someone out there. You've got to really kind of count your stitches when you're doing a design like this, but luckily this one's just a whole big stripe of cream. You guys need to leave me suggestions on what I should crochet next because I had this idea for ages. I just needed the time and motivation to do it. But now I'm like, okay, once I finish this, what else do I make? Maybe I should make that checkerboard bag. That's quite a cool, trendy Pinterest thing, right? I took the crochet outside because it's way too hot in my bedroom. It's also way too hot here. So on the plus side though, this hat is cool. We're making progress. We're making good. I look so sweaty. Ew. There's nothing like crocheting outside on a disgustingly sweaty, hot summer day.
apologies for the very delayed update. I basically slept for most of the afternoon after that because I got a little bit sunburned. I was just not having it. And then I stayed up till like 2.30 in the morning watching Killing Eve again. I know the bit you only give a shit about is how far along it is. So here we go. This is how it's looking. So yeah, I think it's coming along pretty well. I'm not going to lie to you. I forgot that I had to essentially make two of these because you need a back and a front. I slightly modified the pattern for the back. Lower cut here and then higher cut the back. I know so much effort has to go into this i can't i've basically just got to keep crocheting i kind of regret doing singles though if i did doubles it would have gone a lot faster but then again it wouldn't have looked the same i'm really tempted to order some white shorts to like completely match the outfit and i was looking because i believe they're brandy mails are the ones but i don't think they did them in the uk because i was looking on depop looking on vintage can't find the exact kind of match so i'm just gonna order a pair of white shorts off of vintage ah oh my god okay does anyone else get so annoyed at the last stitch in a row because i can never get it in i'm excited for this we're like here as far as the top goes i'm very excited for this and now it's time to change color so you do your last stitch and instead of pulling wrapping it around and pulling it through like that you're just gonna swap it for the green one and pull it through like that so you still have a like cream stitch there and then swap it round place the cream on top and now carry on as you were before i don't know why the audio changes so much when i flip the camera but you get the point i'm just gonna do this for like another hour so let's see when that's done <laughs> cheeky update for you here's the front of the vest done well it's not completely done because i still need to do like the trim but it's getting somewhere i've literally just started the back because i forgot that tops you also kind of need a front and a back this is like what i'm going for i really want to get this front panel done tonight i was waiting for the rest of my wool to arrive because i ran out of wool again because i'm so unprepared for literally everything but like as you can see we've got like a worm going on right now we haven't actually got a top yet i'm gonna work on this for the rest of the evening i shouldn't probably crochet with rings on that does seem a little bit stupid i messed up so i had to start again this is how i'm feeling now i want to cry Honestly, I've never been more excited to finish a project, but this is taking me a while because I'm like slowly running out of motivation for it. But anyway, the main front and back panels are done. Finally, here's the front panel. It does not have a lot of stretch because um, I kind of messed up by running the thread through all the time. So it means it does not have a lot of give, which we fix later, don't worry. I think it's very, all uh, she literally is being so loud at the moment, aren't you? Shush, you're gonna make mummy angry. I put her out, so hopefully she won't make as much noise. Will you? Shh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I learnt my mistakes from that front panel and I actually gave the back panel like a lot more stretch. So that's good, I'll actually be able to get it over my body. What you see is what you get now. Now it is just time to like assemble the whole top sweater vest, vest. I don't know. I don't know what it is. What even is it? But yeah, I was confused about how you attach the front and the back because obviously you need like room for your armpit. But I used a reference photo from the Instagram and it actually has like these rectangle panels along the side, the same color as the accent color. So that is exactly what I did. And now we have this to attach the front to the back. I crocheted it in the opposite direction so it has stretch now i need to repeat it on this side and then i can attach it and do the trim and then we're done i am still waiting on the shorts to arrive so i can recreate the whole outfit which i am so excited for anyway i'll give you a quick tutorial on how to attach these little side panel things going on i somehow lost the audio to this clip so i'm just gonna speak over it now but basically you're just gonna want to put a little slip stitch in the corner and then literally just carry on as normal it is pretty simple i don't know why i'm explaining it to you guys you can see on the screen what i'm doing but yeah you're just going to want to go into the little holes between the stitches and that's that's what you do 
and it's done it looks like it's got wings or something i don't really know how to describe it but yeah it's time to put this thing together i don't know if i have enough yarn left because i'm very much running low so let's hope i have enough in order to at least do the neck trim bit because i don't know if that's gonna happen i'm so bad at planning for these projects i just have to kind of make do i mean it always works out in the end hopefully but yeah now it's time to stitch this thing together We're getting, we're getting this done now. We're getting, we're getting closer to the finish. This is taking me way too long. It's kind of just like a big tube at the moment. So I need to do a stitch round the top and round the sleeves. So that will be the next thing to do. But I need to attach them first. Okay, so I've got the sleeves done. It's kind of looking a little bit small, which I'm worried about. But I don't have any boobs, so it should be fine. So it is time to do the trim. It's literally just going to be a load of singles. Like it shouldn't be too complicated starting to look a bit better hopefully let's let's speed run this are you ready for the reveal are you are you ta-da it's finished it's done it's finished um it's it's completed finally it only took me like a week i have a feeling i can't quite remember but i have a feeling she does wear it with like a pair of loafers and i've just got my doc martin so i'm gonna put these on so i can just have the full fit i even like made these little shorts like i added the pleats because i couldn't find the brandy ones that she was wearing in it but uh yeah i'm gonna put these on hold up this is the fit Honestly, I love this so much. I thought I'd made it too small, but it actually does have quite a lot of stretch. Like, there's room to like move around, you know what I mean? The pleats, I need to like iron these out a bit better, but... But like, you get the idea, you get the idea. I wish I had like a wider angle so I could show my whole body, but like, this is gonna have to do. I'm sorry. I need to stop posing, but like, I'm very proud of myself. So I'm gonna keep posing. I'll just give you like a little close-up. I think it looks so good. I'm gonna be wearing this all the time. I need to stop posing, but I'm like obsessed um and yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video please let me know what kind of pinterest crochet things you want me to try and make next because i have way too much time on my hands as i've said before and yeah comment them down below if you want to see more crochet content if you want updates on said crochet content go follow my instagram we're on the road to 5k right now hopefully 10k soon so i can get my little swipe up feature that you know a girl can dream thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe youtube things youtube things and i will see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>